first and foremost, this is not, uh, this is an experimental aircraft. So it's not certified to the standard airworthiness um, by the FAA. It's a special airworthiness certificate. It's a custom built airplane. It has 460 hours on it. And so it's proven itself through phase one flight testing and hundreds of hours since. So in, in, in figuring out how to use the seatbelt, that's great. And the canopy, um, I apologize, does not have the uh, little handles on it like the production kits now do. So it's a bit of a reach to get the, to get the canopy closed. The standard kit now comes with handles that assist you in bringing the going doors down, but you can just grab it up here and pivot it down. And what I'll typically do is kind of hold on to it in taxi and, uh, and keep the airflow better because until we get going, the airflow is only through, through the little vent here. There's a closed and open valve here for fresh air. And if, you, if it's cold outside and you want heat, then the heater controller is here. You close the outside vents and then it's all recirculated inside the cabin. There's a heat exchanger, like a little radiator, just like your car with a three-speed fan. And you go, and it's cool that way, hotter that way, which opens the valve that allows the coolant to flow through it. So it's kind of neat and less chance of carbon monoxide poisoning. So I've got the parking brake set and we'll go through the, uh, the checklist for takeoff, for starting the engine rather. So, so we've done our pre-flight. So engine start. Master on, EFIS back up on, EFIS one, two, and three on. Flaps are up already. Fuel, we're gonna select the left tank because it's fuller. Lane A and Lane B act like your magneto switches, but they're in reality, they are um, the computers for the ignition system, okay? The propeller is electric, so propeller switch on and it's in auto mode. Brakes we hold. It's ECU backup is like, it. we put the main fuel pump on. ECU backup is, is a reserve uh, to the fuel pump. So we turn it on for five seconds and we can, can we can confirm fuel pressure. Come on. There we go. Yeah. So we've got pressure and turn it off. Okay. Throttle is cracked. The yellow clear prop. Perry. First thing we're looking for is oil pressure. So that's good. Next thing we do is we bring the RPM up to 2400 and get the second alternator to come online and we'll watch for volts. Second alternators, second alternators online. So that's good. Oh yeah. Avionics add strokes. Okay, so now we can put heads in time. Five K behind the banana. Continue taxiing. Contact tower frequency one three three point zero seven. Use caution for bird activity on in the vicinity of the airport. Use caution for work in progress adjacent or on eastern taxiways. As of this weather information for California coastal waters available on highways and flight service frequencies. All aircraft feedback hold short instructions and run as standard with call sign. Advise and should contact you have Papa. Papa. It's beautiful out there. So. Trying to airport information, Papa 1750 Zulu, wind calm, visibility 10, sky clear. Temperature 22, dew point 1, 2, altimeter 296. I 2, 9, 9, 6. You say, Roger, your airplane.
Where's push to talk? Right here. Push to talk is on the front. Otherwise, voice activated. This trip. Nose down trim. Nose up trim. That's the side buttons are an op for you. Right. This is an autopilot disconnect for me. Okay. So. Echo Alpha Juliet to two nine right for five whiskey tango. So all we do is you just mod modulate speed with oh. the brake and steer with your feet. Nice. And if you'd like to try that, you're welcome to it. Just it's downhill here, so there you go. So that's how well the brakes work. If you need to add a little power, you just move your hand over to the throttle and just add a little, but probably won't need it. Just follow the yellow line. We're gonna go down echo, a left on alpha. Torrance Ground, Skyhawk, November 433, Fox Romeo is cleared, 29 right on Charlie, to exit a soft bay. Then to apply the parking brake, all we do is hold a little pressure and close the valve. And as we do the run up, we'll just make sure we're not creeping forward. Okay, that's all there is to that. Okay. So, how are we doing? If I like to have engine gauges nice and big for the run-up. So we can see oil temperatures coming up, oil pressure's good, RPM, manifold pressure. Right, ground, uh, debonair zero three Coolant Mike. temperature is in the green, at, uh, manifold pressure's in the green. Uh, echo and uh, east debonair, I think that's... And, and you can do the same on your side as well. If you want to go back to split screen, you can just hit that, or you can go full or split. Uh, four, I'm just gonna hold in the run -up until, uh, okay. the plane holding short is ready to go. So, basic, back to the checklist. So we've set the brakes. Uh, we've talked about exchange of controls. You know how to operate the door latch. Right. Okay, we, we'll just double check that before we roll on out. Uh, controls box check, so that's that's all the way forward. How much right away we have? 5,100 feet. All the way to the left, all the way back, all the way to the right. And we'll rarely need that much deflection, only right. in gusty crosswind conditions. Mostly this is a thumb and index finger airplane, and it's movements of just a little... Either way, so engine to... Okay. So, oh, I, I blew it. I forgot to put the ox pump on, so we've got ox pump on now. Okay, so, so we bring it up to 4,000 RPM. And 5-4 Hotel, good job clearing the left for me, thanks. You're welcome. A little bit more. Close enough. Sorry, so we're at 3,900. Uh, I fail lane A. A little bit. And we see the RPM goes it's back it. up a little because it's I going to full power. Okay, and, and we see some of the indicators are attached to lane A computer. Then we fail lane B, and now we do see a bit of a drop, 40 RPM. And we see some of the other gauges are attached to that computer. Okay. Now we're going to check fuel pumps. We'll turn off the main pump. We see we've got 44 PSI, and it drops down to about 42. There we go. Main pump back on, ox pump off, and fuel pressure drops slightly, 43.3, both back on. So now we know we can operate on either by itself. Next, we check the propeller. We put the propeller to manual, and we do the fine course adjustment, watch the RPM. We load it up, go course pitch, the RPM drops, put it back, to automatic, computer takes over, goes back up to 3,900 or so. Okay, now we can reduce RPM. Circuit breakers, we check, all are in. Engine instruments are all in the green. Okay, altimeter we set to the ATIS, navigation is set, transponder is, we want to set to VFR, right? So we've got set to 1,200. Both fuel pumps are on. 
trim. We've got trim indicator here is neutral. And we've got one notch of flaps like that. We can we see it on the indicator here and here. And we can confirm by looking out and see, yes, I've got about 10 degrees on both sides. Okay. Doors closed and latched. With closed. Closed Seat belts. and latched. Seat belts. Lights, we're going to go with just strobes. And, and we'll tower. switch to tower. So I can do it here, you can do it there. Torrance Tower, Sling 5, Whiskey Tango, holding short, turn in a right, right 270. Sling 5, Whiskey Tango, Torrance Tower, Roger, standby. Standing by, 5, Whiskey Tango. 5, Whiskey Tango, wind 28010, one right 2, and a right, clear for takeoff, right 270, departure approved. Rolling 10, 9, and right, uh, 5, Whiskey Tango. November so we steer with our feet, three pop -up frequency just like you're doing a Cessna or whatever. Got a little bit of slight left crosswind, but not so much. We'll bring power up. Mr. Kevin Golf Air, find information, Quebec. Airspeed is alive. Tower for 5 Tower, do you want me to turn left for the traffic pattern over a certain area? Near 4954 Hotel, left crosswind at your discretion.